Hello guys, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Ra and uh, this video is going to be all about Sagittarius, uh, Sun, Moon and also Rising and a uh, monthly tarot reading for it so if you do enjoy the content here in the channel and you do wish to support us all you gotta do is just leave a like and uh, subscribe for it so you stay in tune with uh, the live streams and all of the future videos that uh, are going to be uploaded and uh, if you do wish uh, to have a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, which link you are going to find in the description down below. So let me finish here the shuffle, uh, do the cut, and see what you guys have. Actually, we, because my moon is in Sagittarius, and that reading is going to show how I'm going to feel uh, throughout the month of November. Uh, so the first card that uh, we do have that's going to be the Nine of Pentacles uh, followed by the second card for the month which is going to be the Devil and just from those two cards the only word that comes to my mind how I'm going to feel powerful okay uh, so those uh, those two followed by the third one which is the Six of uh, Swords and Courageous as well uh, <clears throat> And uh, the fourth card, uh, that's going to be an optimistic, also hopeful. Uh, we do have the Seven of Cups. So these are the four cards, uh, the four primary cards uh, for our month Sagittarius. And it does look like that um, start is going to be very, very strong here. Uh, with uh, the first couple of cards that we do have uh, it's uh, in fact it's going to be so strong that after the middle of the month uh, we also going to find it very hard to believe how far we went and as this is going to have very positive impact on our life in general also is going to have some uh, concerning aspect of it it is that as we do go faster than anticipated or we do go ahead of ourselves so to speak are we doing the right thing because uh, after the middle of the month there are going to be some really decisive um, i would say actions that the, these cards are more corresponding to actions rather than decisions that we are going to have to make which by the way there is going to be almost no return uh, from so uh starting up the month here for sagittarius uh, the first card nine of pentacles uh, the catalyst to the nine of pentacles is going to be the eight of pentacles so we do have uh, these two a uh, passive supporters uh, are, are what those cards are and uh slow but really strong uh start like i said with uh, these couple of cards a few things are kind of like prominent one of them it is that no matter what, what what our plans are and how we are preparing to uh to make those plans reality uh those two cards are showing is that we addressed every single detail to the to the smallest to the finest one and we did it with conscientiousness and this pretty much set us up for imminent success what i like to say is that we are we are doomed to to pretty much uh, succeed into what we are planning to do throughout the month of november no matter how mundane it is and no matter how um, optimistic it is in fact the more optimistic the better the uh, the bigger the bigger the bar the, the the better the experience because at the start of the month it does look like that uh this plan that we do have or that you do have Sagittarius because that is how I'm going to feel and uh, from those two cards I'm going to feel that all my plans are coming to fruition but whatever plans you do have uh, you are going to feel ready to uh, initiate those plans at the start of the month of November whether for business or whether for uh, for romantic life and uh their manifestation is going to pretty much break your expectation in a good way that is i mean the, 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 these plants are going to develop to develop a far better than uh, what you even dreamed to see now nine of pentacles it's a very very strong card 
uh, it shows that It shows that you are pretty much on top of a gold mine, like like a huge and big thing, like the job, the client, like 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 the 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 the, the deal that is gonna make your life much more materially well. And that doesn't mean just only money. Uh, under the material aspect is also considered trust. Is also con considered uh, reliability. Anything that gives a foundation to uh, to stability, okay. And uh, uh, if that refers to your love life, then that is the person uh, that uh, you may be planning to have a, a trip with or, or or a relationship with. And now finally, that plan can be uh, pretty much initiated. Now, whatever the case, uh, you are gonna feel like uh, the king on the hill, all right? You are gonna feel like on the top of the world at the uh, at the start of the month, and that nothing can literally go wrong, at least at that given stage. And that feeling is further supported here with uh, the um, the Devil card, which is gonna be catalyzed with the Two of Pentacles, and that now it's boldness, right? That's now it's it's overconfidence that we do have here with those two, because you're gonna feel so powerful towards the middle of the month that uh, not just only that you are exerting influence, a total domination over the enterprises within your life but also you're gonna feel like you can alter other people's life as well bend them to your will so to speak and i don't know if that's gonna be for a better or worse because sometimes that is needed but it does look like that some of us many of us almost all of us are gonna start getting out of our ways uh with uh, the devil card and the two of pentacles and in other words if something isn't working out to the efficiency we want it to, uh, based on our standards and ideals, concepts even, we are going to change those concepts in a blink of an eye. We are going to change our standards. So pretty much we are going to be very dominant when it comes to uh, when it comes to influence, when it comes to performance, and as well when it comes to presence. Long story short, um, in the first half of the month of November, uh, we are dictating the rules of the game. We are going to be the one who says what circumstances are going to have to be dealt with, if they are to be dealt with. We are going to be the one who are going to dictate the circumstances themselves into our business, into our job, um, into our friendships into our relationships as well now every single one of us is going to do through a different levers right but the result is going to be all of the same that's we say jump other people ask well how high you know uh you may ask well what is the what is the backdrop right what is what is the negative thing of it well the thing it is that with the devil card the bill comes afterwards i mean now you do have the power to pretty much dictate the rules and uh the price for it may come in a couple of weeks it may come in a couple of years it may come in a decade but a price must be paid so to diminish it best is that one does not influence other people's life or at least if, if that's needed do it to the bare minimum for example um just because you don't like that a friend of yours it's uh has a crush on someone right you don't like the person that they have a crush on doesn't give you the right to kind of like spoil or even straight away break that experience of theirs okay just because you don't like your uh your co-worker the person that you work with that is not uh, a reason for you to get them fired because you're gonna have the power to do so okay but that way you directly influence their life and that is something that's a price to it is going to be paid by you further down the road into the future so best way to utilize and use that energy of a total and utter dominance it is to fix your own life 
by not destroying other people's life uh, around it and you're definitely going to have multiple ways uh, to do so so choose carefully and uh, after this um, after this energy manifests here after the middle of the month the six of swords takes place uh, which is going to be catalyzed with the death card very interesting elements of dignity here sagittarius we do have a active neutrals uh in that particular uh in that particular case and so what happens after the middle of the month it is that you're going to feel so much ahead that now you do get to um decide your own direction okay you you do get to decide what you want to do from now on and you do get so much ahead in time as well that you do get to experiment also here with the energy of those two cards six of swords and the death uh it's very unstable but in the same time it's very um it's very potent so what happens it is that you're going to see that you don't have to totally um how can i put it into words substitute i don't know how to how to say it. well I, I will try to say it that way you will see that with the same means you can do few different things okay for example uh with the same friend you can you can basically use them for a few different things like you can use them to have fun you can use them to help you with something right uh, you can use them to kill time as well or whatever the case but you are to see that with a or with one hobby you can use it to have fun you can use it to make money and so on and so forth so you will see that certain resources you do have and in the resources i mean anything that you can use you can do multiple things with it and those the vast majority of those multiple things are unexplored by you and because you are so much ahead business-wise uh, love-wise and so on and so forth you're going to start experimenting here with what is the best use of of one particular uh, of one particular thing good thing about those two cards is that even if you do make a wrongdoing and i can't really say a wrongdoing more like if nothing really happens out of your ex experiment here you ain't gonna lose anything anything that you do uh more than what you are actually doing up until this this point is going to be a surplus for some of you the the universe is gonna smile in a, such a way that's uh pretty much how can i put it into words you are going to traverse certain threshold that you are going to find yourself in an unexplored shore uh, and basically uh, double up the gains from whether your job or from whether your relationship even triple them so to speak now there is a also very very slim chance that you can get a second chance on so or on something or rather like to give a second chance on something okay so uh the work forgiveness is not out of the question here and because you are going to be from a position of strength and power you are going to be the one who is going to say okay i i forgive you or rather like you can do that i forgive you so if you want to do it we can we can work together again or we can be friends again or we can be together again whatever whatever the case is and uh after this period of time you're entering the end of the end stage of the month which is going to be uh, marked by the seven of cups very curious to see what is going to be the additional oh my god uh three of pentacles uh we do have those two and uh you know when i when i saw the three of pentacles right now the first thing that came to my mind is that you are seriously going to make an impression with your performance throughout the month um these are very typical for example an influencer cards when they have a really really strong chain of of uh of representation in the social media and the sponsor finds them and say hey do you want to work with us we are to support your channel you present our product and that way everybody gain we grow you grow great you know that is uh, a support that you are gonna get based on the performance you made throughout the month of november uh, that is going to make your um, unfathomable dreams uh, poss possibilities. For example, let's say if I go with the example of the influencer, you are on a, 
relatively small scale and nobody pretty much pays attention to you and so you know you would love to have a sponsor but you couldn't dare dream of it because you just don't have the mass right and suddenly you make a few appearances here and there which are very very successful and finally that uh, sponsor comes about and you know having your whatever channel page whatever type of a social media you do sponsored it's now possible entirely sponsored i mean it, it's now possible it's reachable it's accomplishable bottom line is that whatever uh, unreachable goals or dreams you know or or, or, or um, or aims you had with the support you're gonna get at the end of the month guys they are going to be within your grasp from now on they're not gonna be fantasies they are gonna be a seeds growing and another thing about those couple of cards is that uh, if you are obliged or rather like uh, demanded to make a work with someone and under work i mean for example friendship let's say that you really enjoy a social circle but in order to be in it you gotta put up with a specific person that you totally don't like um that is just an example with those two cards uh, the differences are gonna start being set aside so you can expect a uh, improvement into your social interactions as well and so with that said uh sagittarius that was your uh monthly reading for the month of november uh, 2022 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it guys and we are going to see each other next time until then bye